Hi everyone, my name is Kaylee Popwich. Um, I started doing conceptual mapping last year in right throughout the pandemic. And to be honest with you, when I did my map with Elijah, I had no idea what I was getting myself into, but I just decided to keep an open mind. I did a flow map, which focuses on the outer you. Um, when Elijah asked me to create an intention of the map, I said my biggest dream, which was my intention, is to represent Canada at the 2026 Olympics. I'm a competitive curler. That's my biggest dream. It's always been my biggest dream. And so that's the intention that I used to go in with the map. And as I was doing the map, I was like, I have no idea how this is like going to fit into all of this. But as I mentioned earlier, just keep an open mind. And after I did my map, I didn't really look at it at all. I kind of just, I would like, I just kept it in a folder. I look at it every so month, every few months, and I'd be like, this really doesn't make sense. Like this doesn't doesn't apply to what I'm I want to do. I don't see how this fits. And I opened or I looked at my map a few months ago, and bells just going off on my head, in my head. Um, I saw how all the values that I laid out for myself and chose were really fitting, and I saw how they could play a huge role in for in to exceeding my intention of representing Canada at the 2026 Olympics. And so, and now that I can, now that I actually see where where my values really fit into my intention, I use my map all the time i love it i look at it a lot and it's just really taken me to a new level and having this faith in myself and believing that trusting the process and having it all works out and because the values that i picked for myself for my map are to a t it's been incredible um the one thing that i really like about this sort of mapping compared to different values to different like values exercises is um you actually pick your own values and so what i did is i picked 20 values out of a deck of cards and i divinely chose 10 and nine out of ten of the cards i chose were incredibly accurate i think i changed one card and at the at one of the mapping spots instead of honesty i put toward trust because that's my biggest value and i said that that needed to be a part of my map um yeah so it's huge and your values it's basically the way that it was explained to me is your values your subconscious is always trying to like achieve things and when you give it a group of values with an attention you're subconsciously going to try and like achieve these values and complete these values in order to achieve the goal and so i'm i'm seeing how that's working it's been a lot of fun and also using the values deck of cards um one thing that i did last year and that i want to get into is i would pick seven cards for the week and those were kind of the values that i would focus on and so if you have an opportunity to buy a deck of cards, I would highly recommend it. And doing a conceptual map, specifically, specifically a full map, is for anybody who wants to live the life that they want to live. Um, by living your, by your values, it creates you like, it gives you freedom and flexibility to live your life the way that you want to live.